So I've spent over a month with the Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X13 and the Asus Republic of Gamer XG Mobile. Now, this does not come standard as a kit. Make sure when you order it, if you're wanting the XG Mobile to come along with it, that you, you know, really do your research and make sure, okay, I'm buying them together. Um, it's about... 3000 ish dollars around that range for them together. And then if you want to get the RTX 3050 Ti equipped version of the X13, it's going to be around the $1,500 range. If you want to check the live pricing and availability, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase of one of those links, we'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, over the past month, I found a few things that I love and a few things that you might want to be aware of if you're considering purchasing this laptop. First and foremost, I love this combination. It's perfect for the on-the-go creator. Now, pair this with a Zen screen on the side, which I want to do a full, like, on-the-go battle station video at some point, but com but pair this with a Zen screen and get to where you're going, set up your screen. You've got like dual screens, a 3080 worth of performance for After Effects and 3D modeling, and then you've got a fantastic tall aspect ratio, so this is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio for your editing, and it's just, it's a great laptop. Now, one of the things to be aware of is as I was using the XG Mobile, it plugs right in here to the side. So let me show you where this thing plugs in. Right here, it's got this custom port with a USB type C and then the custom connector for the XG Mobile. Now, one thing that happened to me is I had this thing connected and then when I went to take it off, these buttons were not depressing at exactly how they should, and it made it pretty difficult for me to pull off the XG Mobile. Um, now, I did test this on two different models, the 1650 and the 3050 Ti. The 3050 Ti had no issues. It was able to pull out and plug in very easily. This is the 1650. It's a slightly older version of the uh, X13, and it's the one that I had struggles with. Um, that might be just this specific unit, the way it was set up and you know the way it was produced in the factory, but I just want you to be aware of that. Um, on this model, it was a little difficult to pull this out of the laptop after I was finished using it. Um, but like I said, that could be just a manufacturing faux pas for this, this specific model. Um, now, this is a two-in-one laptop, which is fantastic. So you can have your on-the-go artist needs met, but it did not come with a pen. At least the model that I received did not come with a pen. I tried the uh, Wacom pen from the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360, and it didn't work. You want to make sure you get an MPP, okay? So that would be Microsoft Pen Protocol, and that type of pen will work with this screen. Um, as you can see here, I can draw with my finger no problem. When I go to use this Samsung pen, it doesn't work. Now, a pen that you could reference here is this one by Asus. It's the Asus Pen SA201H, and I'll link this in the description below if you're curious about the exact price of that pen. So keep that in mind when you're getting this laptop. Check to see if it comes with a pen, and if it does not, make sure you get that MPP pen. Next up, let's talk about the iGPU and the battery life. I'm gonna pull the battery life results up on the screen now for both video editing and Photoshop. And the battery life settings are numerous. There are so many different profiles you can run this laptop in. That's what I love about the Asus Command Center, the Armory Crate, is there is so much customization. And my favorite setting for battery life is iGPU mode. So when you do that, you turn off the GPU, so you're gonna have some slower you know, speeds maybe within Photoshop and video editing, but you're gonna be able to have a massive battery life with this laptop. And this really is what has encouraged me to consider this laptop one of my favorite on-the-go laptops for the year for serious creative professionals and video editors. Um, specifically, Photoshop users, video editors, motion designers. Um, this thing packs a punch with a 3050 Ti and has great battery life. Um, but you know, when you're on the go, you may be not accessing that 3050 Ti. But then when you get somewhere, you can plug in and then really get all that raw performance and have great battery life while you are on iGPU mode. So it's just the battery life for this laptop. It's so thin and light. It has amazing performance with that 3050 Ti. It's just really incredible. Um, it is, it's a very exciting package. And just to see the developments coming out from Asus are, are inspiring and quite impressive because I felt like for a while there, we weren't seeing these big developments. We were seeing great performance increases. We weren't seeing battery life work its way up, especially in these more powerful units. And so that was a big thumbs up for this laptop. And really the, the whole kind of Zephyrus series, I've been impressed by their battery life. Next is this screen. I love the screen. It has a taller aspect ratio, which makes designing and editing videos 
much more enjoyable. You have room for your timeline and your video feed, which is very helpful. I find that when I have a very short, you know, more wide screen, um, I, it's hard to get all the elements in that I need. You know, it's hard to have the timeline that I'm editing on. It's hard to have the effects and a good size picture of what I'm actually working on inside of say Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. So I like this screen, though it's a small 13 inch screen, it's taller and that creates a better workflow experience. Now regarding the XG Mobile, I was surprised at how little it affected 4K playback inside of Premiere Pro. I thought we were gonna get a lot of improvement in playback with say like 6K B-RAW footage, um, but it stayed about the same, about 3000 drop frames, whether using the 3050 Ti or the RTX 3080. And that was out of 16,177 frames in total for the Premiere Pro project. Now, however, if you're gonna be doing 3D modeling or you're gonna be an After Effects user with a lot of rendering, this was a beast. And as you can see the results coming up on the screen, it blew away the standard 3050 Ti in this laptop when adding the RTX 3080. So that was a great improvement. Any heavy rendering or graphics work is gonna really highly be beneficial with the RTX 3080. Now, one of my biggest critiques of this laptop is the tiny little trackpad. Um, I really wish they would have pushed the keys up uh, another half inch and then pushed the trackpad out to really edge up to the keyboard and edge up to the bezel of the laptop. Um, it's just not the best trackpad. One of my favorite trackpads right now from Asus is gonna be either on the Zephyrus M16 or the Zephyrus G15, but this, on the X13 and on the G14 are just a, you know, an average trackpad. It did not really impress me. Punch for punch, this laptop has great battery life, build quality, performance, and all at a very reasonable price point. It's not cheap, but it's not expensive. It's to me a great mid-range for a powerful, well-built laptop. And so if you're considering the X13, it's definitely gonna get my recommendation. Um, if you're considering the X13 versus the G14, I filmed a full dedicated review of those two going head to head versus one another, and you can check that out in the end cards right here. Otherwise, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next video.